Hi, good day. Let us learn about measuring motion in terms of distance and time. Everything appears to be in motion. Our daily activities keep us moving. We need to get moving in order to finish our tasks. We move objects by picking, pushing, and pulling them. We all take the same route to school, whether it is short or long. We will always be in motion in our daily lives. When you push a stalled car, we exert force to move it forward. When you mop a floor using a rug, you exert force by moving the rug back and forth. When you close a door, you exert force by pulling on the doorknob. So, we define force as a push or a pull. Forces may initiate and influence motion. When you exert force, therefore, motion is produced. Motion is a change of place or position in relation to time due to the applied force. How far it moves or it is moved is the distance. Distance is measured in meters same as for the length according to the International Bureau of Weights and Measurements or BIMP. But the standard unit for distance on a smaller scale is centimeter and kilometer for the bigger one. When there is movement, there is motion. Motion is also defined as a change in position with respect to a reference point. A reference point is a place or object used for comparison to determine if something is in motion. An object is in motion if it changes position relative to a reference point. The fastness and slowness of a motion at a certain distance can be calculated using the time it takes for an object to cover the distance. The second is the basic unit of time, but for the longer durations, minute or hour may be used. Thank you for listening my dear learners, wait for my next video on measuring motion in terms of distance and time. If this is your first time watching my video, make sure you hit the subscriber button. Thank you for watching.